So now let us discuss what are ways that we can increase our risk. What did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teach us about this? Number one, the importance of continuously making istighfar. There was a great scholar of the past by the name of Al Hassan Al Basri, rahimahullah. A man comes to him and he says, Ya Imam, Ya Sheikh, I'm unable to have children. What do you advise me with? He says, Make istighfar. A second man comes and he says, Ya Imam, Ya Sheikh, I have been struggling with drought in my farm. What do you advise me with? He says, Make istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A third man comes and says, that I have been struggling with poverty. What did you advise me with? And he says, make istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The students became perplexed that you have three different people coming with three different problems, yet the solution was exactly the same. And the Shaykh, he says, have you not heard the statement of Nuh alayhi salam to his people? فَقُلْ تَسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدُكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا That did you not hear the statement when Nuh alayhi salam told his people that continuously seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For he is the one that sends the clouds over you through which the rains comes down. He is the one that blesses you with wealth and children. And he is the one that will bless you with gardens underneath which rivers flow. And thus we learn that the more istighfar we make, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for us. And the impediments between us and our rizq are removed. Number two, the importance of making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The importance of making dua. And you'll notice that there are two types of duas that you can make. Those that are general, like saying, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qin adhab an That, oh Allah, grant us the best of this life. Grant us the best of the next and save us from the punishment of the hellfire. Or those duas specifically that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make. Like saying, Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'ah wa rizqan tayyibah wa amalan mutaqabbala. That, oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. A rizq that is sufficient and halal and for deeds which are accepted. And likewise, it has been narrated that when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to complete his wudu, one of the many duas that is narrated is that he sallallahu alayhi wa would say, Allahumma ghfir li dhanbi wa wasi'a li fi dari wa barik li fi rizqi. That, oh Allah, forgive me for my sin, make spacious for me my home and bless me in my rizq. So this shows us that even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is teaching us the importance of making dua for our rizq, either in generalities or in specifics. And then last but not least, the importance in giving in sadaqah in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I highlight this for an unobvious reason, for an unobvious reason. And that is because it is reported in Sahih al-Bukhari that the Prophet sallallahu says that every day two angels descend from the heavens and they make dua to Allah. They say, oh Allah, those that gave in your sake, gave them back that which they gave and much, much more. And those that withhold from your sake, withhold from them. Now I ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, which one of us would not want the angels making dua for us? So when we give in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it is just a little bit every day, in any cause that we can find, in any way that we can help humanity and our fellow believers, then this is a way that you earn the dua of the angels. The most righteous of Allah's creation in the sense that they do not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are just three ways that we can increase our own risk. Number one, by making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, by continuously making istighfar. And then number three, by giving bit, a little bit of sadaqah every single day.